Patrick Frisk, you're the CEO of Beseda. Thanks so much for making the interview today. And perhaps you can tell us a bit more about Beseda. What does Beseda do? Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Well, Beseda is um, uh, a company that, that, that was uh, founded on the, on the principle of helping our clients create trust between their users. Essentially, what we do is, is that we help clients with, with content moderation and customer support. And uh, we've been doing that uh, uh, for over 15 years. And what is your founding story? Well, listen, as I started saying, the, the, the principle has always been that we've been wanting to help our clients to, to generate trust between their users. And, and our founder started the company 15 years ago here in Sweden. Uh, we've, we've always been working with, in marketplaces and uh, with dating companies. Uh, we've been quite focused on, on classifieds. Um, so that, that's how we got started uh, and that, that's how we got into the business. Over the years, the red thread has always been content moderation, uh, creating quality content and making sure that we fight fraud uh, and all of these issues around that. Uh, and, and that's what we've been, been focusing on. We've been working uh, kind of not in the dark, but, but being quite anonymous over, over the last years, uh, focusing quite a lot on, on bigger players. Uh, but over the, uh, the latest two or three years, we've also opened up more of a, a product strategy and focusing on even smaller clients. You say you've uh, changed your product strategy. How have things improved and changed? If we go back, uh, we started off by, by doing uh, services, uh, manual moderation primarily. Uh, we did manual content moderation before it was even a term out there. Uh, and uh, over the years, uh, we added a lot of technology to support our, our manual uh, services. But over the last few three years, uh, we've had a very uh, hard focus on, on building a uh, a technology platform that, that helps us be even more efficient. And who are your uh, testimonial clients? Who are the lead clients you have in the dating space that you can mention? So, so within, within dating, we work with quite a few clients. Uh, the most noticeable ones are, are Matchmetic Group uh, and Affinitas lately. Great. And how long have, have Meetic been with you? Oh, Meetic has been with us for, for years. Uh, I think for three years, three and a half years or something like that. And what would you say is the sweet spot in terms of client size for you? But, but that's a good thing now, Mark, is that we have we have the capabilities to actually cater for, for a lot of different types of clients. And, and we have a, we're, we're a company of roughly 600 people. A lot of those are, are, are moderators and agents, but we also have a lot of analysts and, and different kinds of roles, trust and safety experts. And um, so we can really form ourselves around the client needs. We have products that are suited for the really, really big players with huge volumes. We have products that's also suited for the smaller ones. So our focus is... Uh, uh, marketplaces and dating companies, um, companies that really want to uh, make sure that they have quality content and platform that, that really uh, is built on trust. Uh, and for Beseda services, how, where do you fit in the price spectrum? What are, what's your pricing roughly? So we're probably not the cheapest out there, uh, but we're very affordable for the quality that you're getting. We don't see ourselves as, as um, uh, yeah, we are not competing primarily on costs, we are competing rather on the quality that we receive and the comprehensive services and product that, that we can offer. And ob obviously leveraging both our experience, all the data that, that we sit on and clients we have out there. What are your goals for, 20, for the next year or so? What are your goals with the dating industry? So for the dating industry, what, what we want to do is that we want to um, continue to develop our, our services to become even uh, more kind of uh, adapted to that specific problems uh, that the dating industry has. Uh, so we we'll do a lot of focus on, on dating specific, specific products and services. That's one of the goals to, to make this successful enough. Obviously, we want to grow as any company wants to do. Uh, uh, we value the, the relationship we have with the clients, so we can't grow too fast. Uh, but obviously, we, want, we, we are looking to expand. Looking at into geographies, we are very strong in, in Europe, in Asia and South America. So obviously the U.S. is very interesting for us to, to look into over the coming year. Great. Patrick Frisk, you're the CEO of Aceto. Thank you so much for your time.